vehicle crash in Meridian. This happened at 3.30 near Meadowgrass and Golden Eye Way. Investigators are not releasing many details, but they tell us Ryan Fick, for some reason, left the roadway and crashed. He was not wearing a helmet. A police chase in Napa last night landed one man in jail. Officers tried to pull over a reckless driver in downtown who nearly hit a patrol car head on. Police say Timothy Darling then led officers on a chase, including through Kohler Lawn Cemetery. Investigators say Darling eventually gave up. He is now facing several charges, including DUI. Well, today's hot weather and low humidity created the perfect recipe for a red flag warning here in our area. Jennifer R. takes a closer look at what that means and how it affects you in tonight's On Your Side Report. Here in southeast Idaho, close to 30 fires have been reported so far this season. And it's not even officially summer yet. The Bureau of Land Management tracks and fights these fires. And the National Weather Service decides what constitutes a red flag warning. The criteria this time, wind gusts more than 30 miles per hour and humidity that's less than 15 percent. Today, Boise had the perfect recipe for that warning. Uh, Boise is right here where the, the 12 is. And so anything in red is humidity is less than 15%. Um, and that's going to continue into tomorrow. You know, we're going to cool off a little bit, but stay fairly dry. Some strong winds diving into the northwest will filter down into our region, causing up to 40 to 50 mile per hour winds tonight and tomorrow. That's why the red flag warning will last until 6 tomorrow evening. And why fire crews are on high alert, hoping to strike down any fires that come their way. This is the eighth human caused fire in less than eight days. Definitely something the public needs to be aware of that uh, wildfire season is here. And if they're using public lands, they need to do it a little more wisely. So far this season, BLM has investigated more than 20 human caused fires. And investigators suspect at least four started from exploding targets. The biggest thing the residents could be doing right now is just, you know, making sure there's, uh, you know, not a lot of debris around their house. I would recommend under a red flag warning to be very, very cautious of any activities you're doing outside, um, be it having a campfire, field burning, anything like that. With fire season starting so early, vigilance is key, especially when red flag warnings are in effect all over the West. Jennifer Ah, Fox 9 News at 9.